Hi, hello, how are you? Good morning, actually, good afternoon. Um, I don't know if you can tell, I'm still in bed and I look like a hot mess. Um, I feel awful today. Like right before I started getting ready to go to sleep last night, and this has been happening kind of a lot recently, I get like allergy attacks. Like I get all congested and I'm like congested on one side, runny on the other, can't stop sneezing, and I get like a ton of pressure build up in my head. Um, and it was just super bad last night. I think I got maybe like two hours of sleep total. My head just hurt so bad. It's like all this pressure behind my left eye. Um, I think it's a sinus infection. I think that's what it is. Um, but I called off work today. I woke up this morning. You can hear it like in my voice too a little bit. I'm hoping it's, I'm hoping it's a sinus infection. Um, but this morning, so normally I don't sleep in PJs, if that's a little TMI, sorry. Um, I put my sweater on, I put sweatpants on, I grabbed an extra, like, blanket off of the couch to go on top of the sheet that I sleep under and the comforter because I was freezing and could not get to sleep. Took some Sudafed, and I've been asleep for, I just woke up, like, 10 minutes ago. It's 12 o'clock. Um, I feel a little bit better now, but just, like exhausted and I feel like I have to sneeze right now. I'm feeling good enough to be awake now so I'm, I'm gonna stay in bed and just try to be as comfortable as possible. I'm gonna turn the TV on and put Bob's Burgers in the background and continue reading The Poppy War. I am really really enjoying this. I just really enjoy Rin as a character. Her drive is amazing. Um, I'm on page I think I'm close to 200 pages. Rin just pledged Lore, which is a um, study that nobody has pledged in the entire time that the professor has been working there. Um, there was one other kid who was possibly going to, and the whole school thinks that Jiang dropped his bid for Alton, who is the other student that was going to pledge Lore. And Jiang lets Rin know that that's not true, that's not what happened. The Empress intervened and said, no, he's a spear warrior. We need him to pledge combat or strategy or something else. Um, and then he has this like muttering moment where he's like, but they don't know about you. The Empress can't intervene. Like, this could work. I could protect you. And so she pledges Laura, and I'm pretty sure everybody on campus thinks that she is crazy but they do also know that she's been trained with Jiang this entire time and she kicked ass. She finished top in their like com combat tournament um beating out you know boys and just kids in general who have been training in martial arts since they could walk so they're like okay he's crazy but he might be doing something right. So I'm really enjoying it. I'm on page 161. So I'm going to continue reading a little bit or listening to it while I like play games on my phone is what I've been doing recently. Um, still no progress on Queen of Iron Darkness. I just really don't have an interest in it right now. And I don't understand why because when I do start to listen to it, I like it. Um, but it's hard for me to get back into wanting to read it for some reason. I don't know if it's because it's so huge and I just feel like I've been reading it for so long or what, but no progress on that so far. So I'm going to lay back down um, and I will update you guys later. Bye. Hello, happy Tuesday. Uh, today has been a little bit rough. Um, so I'm wearing my office t-shirt that my mom got me. I treated myself to Starbucks and Chipotle for lunch. I just took Marcy to the dog park. I just needed to get out of the house. I I've just been feeling kind of low recently and getting sick yesterday didn't help <sighs> and I couldn't sleep last night. We got blackout curtains from my cousin for Christmas which I did ask for and I put them up and Skylar was like okay but now I'm not gonna be able to see like he's not gonna be able to wake up because he relies on the sun coming in and shining in his face to remind him to wake up because when his alarm goes off he doesn't get up. And I was like okay but like I sleep in past you and I don't want to get up at 6.15 when I don't have to be at work for another hour and a half. 
in our second bedroom, no less. And on the weekends, the light comes in at 6.15 and I want to sleep in and sometimes it's just too much. And if I get up, then I have to pee. If I'm peeing, I have to brush my teeth. And then I'm just awake at 7 o'clock in the morning on Saturday for no reason. So I put them up and he moved them over a little bit so that there was light coming in. And I don't know what it was about it. I was having trouble sleeping because I spent all day yesterday sleeping. And it just made me so, so grouchy. And I like fixated on the light coming through. And I'm a little afraid of the dark. So putting on like a, a mask thing doesn't work. I do have one from a subscription box and it's too tight. I don't know if I can loosen it, but it hurt my head. And I just did not sleep very well last night until he rolled over on his stump on his back and he had his pillow on his chest and it's this big bulky pillow and it blocked out the light just enough that I was able to fall asleep. And I just woke up feeling not great today. I'm just tired today. Um and not feeling it. But I did do a little bit more reading for the Poppy War when I was at the dog park and while I was like picking up food. So now I'm on page 199. Um, Rin is finally like studying with Jiang, trying to kind of like understand what lore is about. And he's basically telling her that there was like magic and mystics and shaman hundreds of years ago but since like the new empire was united it just wasn't a religion sort of that the empire agreed upon and the spearly people who one of her classmates is a one of like the last ones they used to practice magic but they're also really fierce warriors and so the empire used them as warriors to help them win this win the poppy war and it and it wiped them out so magic just doesn't really exist anymore and he that's what he's basically trying to help her do he knows that he can only take on one student at a time and it's enough for him to kind of continue to pass on his knowledge and hope that it stays alive in some way and she's like I don't understand how can that be like if people can do magic why aren't they taking this class more why isn't this bigger and he's like you don't understand it's not a priority a priority is you know, pumping out warriors, you know, troops, stuff like, like, people like that. He says that his, his branch of teaching is just not what's important to the Empire. So she's getting kind of frustrated and he's also telling her, like, you have a thirst for this like no one else and it scares him a little bit. And I am kind of worried that we're gonna get a moment where it's like if she keeps going too far or, like, pushing herself too much, there's going to be like a no going back moment. If you do this, you're going to wreck yourself. You're going to turn over to the dark side, you know. Um, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm hoping to continue listening tonight. I'm just watching Superstore and eating and like slowly doing work until I'm done um, with my food. And then I'll probably get back to it more. But I'm just not feeling it today. <laughs> Thursday and I am so tired today just mentally I had like this really long discussion with my boyfriend last night um just about like my mental health and state at the moment and maybe things that I should be trying like getting dressed not just sitting in my pjs until noon and then deciding that's a good time to get dressed I mean it's it's something because some days I do just stay in my pajamas all day um so I'm not knocking myself for getting dressed at 10 or noon. Um, but I do feel like it would probably help if I had some sort of a routine in the morning instead of just like rolling out of bed, going to the bathroom and coming and sitting down in here. Um, so I set clothes out last night in here to get dressed because he's off and I didn't want to wake him up by like rummaging around in the bedroom. I didn't get dressed until like nine o'clock, but I still got dressed, I had breakfast, I took my medication, 
and I've just been listening to the Poppy War all day while reading or um, working. I'm 336 pages in, still really, really enjoying it. Um, I'm just not interested in like watching anything today. Like I don't have any YouTube videos I want to watch. Nothing on Netflix or Hulu. And I also don't really want to be listening to my audiobook, but I figure it's better than nothing. Um, I'm just not having a good day today, basically. I just want to get back into bed and sleep for hours. Um, I'm on my lunch break now. I'm just going to eat something and drink some more water and hopefully have a better day. I didn't sleep well at all last night. I had such bad anxiety and my nose was so stuffed up. I was literally dreaming of trying to find a good shopping cart and it was like I would like breathe in and my nose would be stuffy and that was like my indication that the shopping cart wasn't good or it's like I just couldn't breathe properly and so in my dream I could not find a good shopping cart. Um, and I just spent hours doing that. I think it's because I've been watching Superstore, so that's why that scenario came up. Um, but I didn't, I couldn't sleep. And my boyfriend came to bed after 12 o'clock, I think. And I was still awake. I took some anxiety medication. Felt how, like, sleepy I got from that. I think I fell asleep for about half an hour. Woke up and had to go blow my nose. Got back into bed. And I think finally around, like, 2 a.m. I fell asleep. Um... So I am exhausted today. I am so looking forward to having the next three days off. But my boyfriend wants to have people over tomorrow. And I just don't know if I have the mental capacity for that. Um, it also means that we have to just like make sure that everything is super clean. And I'm like, you are not giving me enough time. This means I'm going to have to get up early tomorrow, depending on what time people are coming over. And spend the whole day cleaning. And I'm not looking forward to that at all. So... This just sounds really whiny, um, but I like to be honest about how my mental health is. Um, I just don't like to hide it and be like, everything's fine, I'm okay, I'm reading so much, blah blah blah. I've only finished one book this month. I just have not been interested, like nothing's holding my interest. I'm super interested in the poppy war, but I just don't have an interest in reading. So that's frustrating. Um, I'm gonna go eat. Hopefully I feel better afterwards. I. I'm going to ask my boyfriend to bring me back an Oreo blizzard when he is on his way back from the dog park because I just feel like that'll make me feel better. So just a reminder, you don't have to pretend like you're fine every single day. Some days suck ass. Hello, it is Saturday. Um, I got new glasses. These are the ones that I just got in, although I think I might have to return them. Um, I could swear that I had clicked and paid extra to have blue light lenses put on um and I don't think that they're there when I like look at just maybe a little bit but it's hard to tell. Today is a, a PJ's all day kind of day. My boyfriend and I are exhausted. We barbecued yesterday and had a bunch of his co-workers over maybe like five of them. Um they're people that he works with and is around every single day so we weren't super worried about getting sick or anything. Um although I'm not feeling super great today. I've just been having really bad allergies all week. Um and we went to bed really, really late, and we're just tired today. Um, he's been feeling really, like, extroverted, and that's why we had people over, just so he could, like, be around people socially. And my, like, social battery is definitely a lot smaller than his, so I am wrecked today. Just so tired. Um, he's napping on the couch right now. I'm watching, like, random vlogs on the TV. And I'm going to start reading The Poppy War. Um, I think I have... Like three hours left but I listened to it on 1.8 speed so roughly like an hour and a half and I want to try and finish it today because the live stream for it is tomorrow um, for the read rate and review club with G. I'm going to listen to it on my headphones and play a little bit of my switch. My boyfriend got me Pinkman um, and I've been playing that the last couple of days. I that one requires a lot of my concentration though so I'll probably play, I'll probably, I'll probably play Stardew Valley or like do random tasks on Animal Crossing. We will see, but I'm just trying to get cozy and be comfortable on the couch and like recharge myself today. But the goal is to finish the Poppy War. And then I think tomorrow I'm gonna try and spend the whole day reading Queen of Air and Darkness. I'm on page, almost to page 500, there's 800. 
so I think if I just do like sprints and read 30 pages at a time I'll be able to finish tomorrow just depends on how much like cleaning and chore things that I have to do tomorrow so I'm gonna go get back onto the couch under the blankets and fingers crossed we finish Poppy Ward today <laughs> Happy Sunday. I am so tired. It's just after three o'clock. Um, I've been running errands and doing stuff all day. I really thought I was gonna have more time to read today, which is a bummer. Um, but last night I did finish The Poppy War. It was so, so good. I enjoyed it so much and I want to pick up, I think The Dragon Republic is the next one ASAP. I need to know what happens with Neja and Venka and Rin and R.I.P. Alton and oh this book was just amazing and I think I definitely need to read more I think I definitely need to read more like historical fiction books and war books like this it just really really held my interest I read the last 150 ish pages last night just sitting here on the couch listening to it and I loved it I gave it a five out of five stars and like I said I want to dive into the next ones already but I'm trying to finish Queen of Air and Darkness um, so first of all like I said I really enjoyed this I really enjoyed Rin as a character I read some reviews at least just from one person that said she was really whiny and that she was a character who things just got handed to and I really didn't think that that was the case I mean she's a war orphan living with a family who abuses her um, she studied ridiculously hard for two years physically and mentally abusing herself so that she could stay awake and retain all of this knowledge most of the kids that take the could you study for 10 years you know depending on their eliteness the more elite that they are the longer they have probably been studying she only had two years to learn all of this information she gets to the academy and even though she's made it the students don't accept her except for one Katai bless his soul absolute cinnamon roll I loved him he he is one of the most elite that you could basically be his dad is like the right hand man to the Empress but he is he's just down to earth he doesn't really care about his position he doesn't care about Rin's position he likes her and their friends and everybody else bullies her one of the kids almost tries to like kill her she does get her revenge on him I love the fight scenes between her and Neja it was just so good her joining the psych teaming up with Alton uh, R.I.P. Alton that was so sad but fitting because he had been broken by all the things that were done to him he was never gonna find peace revenge was never going to be what he truly needed because it wasn't gonna bring his island back it wasn't gonna bring his family back it wasn't gonna bring back the Spearly um, he just he needed to be at peace and dying going out in a blaze of glory protecting Rin and knowing that she is going to raise down Moongin that was enough for him and I thought that that was a great way for him to to go out um, and I'm excited to see where the next book goes. Obviously, Rin and Kitai are not on good terms. He just cannot believe what she did. And she was very, very, like, straight-faced about it. But at the end, she's kind of sort of cracking and is like, Oh my god, what did I do? She killed literally thousands of people. People who weren't even soldiers. They were just part of another empire that was fighting against hers. And that was really sad, but it's... A consequence of things and I understand why she did it but it just kind of it was it sucked um, but I uh, I loved it so much I want to dive into the next of the series now but I have other books that I need to read first I need to finish Queen of Air and Darkness I am 518 pages there are 830 or something like that so I have 300 and some pages to go and it's already three o'clock I have been listening to it 
um, like in between driving, I took my boyfriend work and had to pick up a key from him that's for our back gate, make copies of that, went to my mom's and was helping her set up her printer, like connecting it to her computer. That took a like way longer time than it should have. I have the same one and I set it up in like 20 minutes, so less than that probably, like 10. I don't know why it took so long with hers. That took a really long time. And then after that, I went to Home Depot to make the keys. And then I went grocery shopping and I'm just now home. I left the house at 10.30 and it's three o'clock now. I have been out all day. Um, I have to go to my grandparents' house around 4.30. It's 3, 3.20 now. So I'm gonna spend the next hour reading before I leave, listening to the audiobook. Hopefully I can get through a good chunk of that. Um, should be home probably around 7, 7.30. And then I'm going to spend the rest of the night reading and see how far I can get. I don't have high hopes that I'm going to finish Queen of Air and Darkness today. Um, it would be really great to kind of like tick off three books for the month of February. Um, but if not, it's fine. No pressure. And so I will update you guys later um, on my reading progress and probably close out the vlog tonight. Hello, I am coming on to end this vlog and tell you that no, I did not finish Queen of Air and Darkness. I am about 650 pages of the way in, and I believe there's like 830, so I still have like 180 pages left. I'm just so tired. It's 9 o'clock. I had so much to do today. I really thought that I was going to have more time to read, and I just didn't. Um, so hopefully tomorrow I will be able to finish it. Um, it's still 200 pages though, and I'm going to be reading reports. So we'll see if I'll be able to listen to it all, but for sure next week, definitely next week. So I technically only read two books this month, um, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, which took me a really long time to get through. Um, it's very mundane and monotonous at the beginning. I absolutely loved the way that it ended. Um, and The Poppy War, which I flew through in a week. That's pretty good for me. Um, so I'm in bed now, I'm exhausted, I'm going to watch some TikToks and go to sleep. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, let me know how your February has gone, what you read, and what you are planning to read in March. Thank you for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!